Hey guys, I'm Carlton uh, from 27 Swap, and I'm here with Keith uh, in his shop, KMH Motors. We're just outside of Boston, Massachusetts. Uh, we've been developing a project together called REN 2.7, uh, and so without further ado, you know, here's the car. It's a 2001 Carrera C2 uh, 996. Uh, it does have the factory aero kit. A lot of people mistake it for a GT3. Looks similar, uh, but the aero kit was just a uh, aesthetic upgrade, no performance upgrades. Uh, it just looks a lot nicer than a basic uh, 996. Um, but obviously this car is special because it has an Audi 2.7T motor in it. From the B5 S4? Absolutely. Came in the B5 S4, A6. Um, so uh, we kind of set out to solve a problem. The M96 engine that came in the Porsche um, was very expensive and unreliable. Um, if you've read about it, researched, uh, you know about the IMS bearings going bad, uh, cylinder scoring, cylinder chunking, cracking blocks, cracking heads, all very expensive uh, problems to fix that are, are very common with these motors. Um, but the 2.7, uh, it's cheap. You can buy one for $1,000 nowadays. Uh, Easily, they're everywhere, they're abundant. Um, it's an iron block, so it's strong. It can make 500 horsepower in the stock bottom end. Um, tons of information, uh, tons of aftermarket. People have been tuning these, making huge power with them for many years with twin turbos, single turbos. Um, so there's tons of resources, tons of uh, support for these motors. And um, yeah, it's, it's well proven, well proven for many years. Yeah, it's, it's a 20-year-old motor, well, more than that, and uh, it's actually becoming even more popular today. I mean, it seems like, at least, the, especially in the B6 and B7 Audi chassis, uh, a lot of people are swapping it into the A4, S4, RS4, you know, in, in that generation of Audi. Uh, I mean, even myself, I, I have a 2.7 swap S4 Avant, B6 gen, uh, and it's a lot of fun. It's a lot more fun than the V8 was that it originally came with, um, uh, you know, but I know people put V8s in these, uh, Chevy LS based, like the Hoovy 911, yep. Apollo 911. Uh, so is, you know, what's the solution? Is this the better solution? Put yeah, the 2.7T motor, um, it's, it's from the same engineering family uh, under the Volkswagen Audi Porsche, you know, conglomerate. So there's a lot of um, similar engineering principles that are carried over uh, with this motor um, that that align with the engineering principles of, of this Porsche chassis. So it it was a really natural fit, a really natural choice to use the 2.7 motor. Um, and obviously the motor doesn't just bolt in and, and work. There's a lot of custom parts that we had to figure out to make it work. Um, obviously some the big items, the adapter plate for engine transmission to bolt that up. Um, it has a, a proprietary uh, flywheel clutch setup. Um, it has an entirely custom turbo uh, kit, a single turbo kit. So you have manifolds, downpipe, um, uh, wastegate, uh, you have an air and water intercooler. Um, that's all been sorted out. Um, all the adapters for uh, the oil fittings, uh, for the power steering lines, lots of little hardware mounting things to make it all work uh, properly to make it you know, bolt up essentially. So um, it, it came together really well. I mean, there wasn't anything that was, uh, you know, really, really custom wild fabricated. It was all just, just make, just putting things together. Right. Yeah. yeah they, I mean, they're pretty close mechanically and I mean, mm -hmm. they're, they're very similar electrically, uh, both, uh, the Porsche ECU, uh, engine management and, the the 2.7 engine management, uh, is Bosch ME7, uh, which allows the 2.7 motor to integrate, you know, seamlessly with the car, uh, the cluster tag speedometer, uh, the coolant, temperature, oil pressure, everything works as if 
Porsche put the 2.7 in this car. Um, the electric throttle is fully compatible. I know that's an issue with the uh, with the LS guys. They have to put in their own Chevy throttle or something like that. Uh, this is just plug and play, basically. Uh, if we were able to retain the factory cooling systems and control them like OEM. Uh, and the AC, you know, there's no issue there. Uh, of course, we have AC. Uh, and so, yeah, we developed, a, in order to make all this kind of happen, we developed a, some custom circuit board. And, um, and basically, it plugs into where the, the Porsche ECU plugged in. It's part of the body. Uh, and on the 2.7, it's part of the engine harness, the, where the ECU plugs in. So we replaced the Porsche ECU with our custom electronics, and we're able to uh, integrate this motor without having to cut a single wire. Uh, which is, you know, that's what uh, is kind of enables this uh, to be uh, so so convenient for for anyone. Uh, and so, yeah, it may, it may be kind of a Frankenstein, but it, it's it's not a complete crossbreed like like a like an LS motor would be, I guess. Right? Yeah, no, it's <laughs> it's really well sorted, um, and that you know that's that's what makes us great because it's it's a natural fit. You know, um, if you've ever swapped motors. The, you know, the, the more similarities that you can get um, in a donor motor to the chassis is, is beneficial. Um, and, you know, we, we set out to, you know, try to make this as, as replicatable, duplicatable as possible so other people can do this and, and bring the, you know, the pieces together. So, um, to, you know, to make, to make this uh, an attainable, you know, performance level in this this chassis you know for other people yeah exactly that's it like you just buy our kit install it then you have a 911 with a turbo yeah not to be confused 911 turbo which is for a different different demographic. different tax bracket <laughs> yeah. and yeah and that's the big thing for me where um the economics you can't overlook that where if you want to go out and buy a good clean 996 turbo you're going to spend fifty to sixty thousand dollars and up, um, and this uh, this platform can be achieved for half that price. Like literally, I I spent less than half that to build this car. Um, so it definitely brings uh, the exotic level of a 911 down to a much more attainable price with the same performance level as the turbo model. Yeah, I think that's a that's a great recipe and. Yeah, I mean, it brings it right down to earth uh, for for anyone to build, mm -hmm. you know. Uh, so, yeah, if you, if you want to build one, uh, check us out at, at ren27.com. Uh, we'll have some kits up for sale soon and, uh, and some more technical details that maybe we didn't touch upon here. Or, you know, you want to ask us some questions, shoot us an email. You'll find all that information online. Uh, yeah, and thanks for watching. Peace out.